Lord, forgive me because I'm about to sin again. Oh, I no. have sworn time and time again that I would do my best to resist making fun of the platform formerly known as Twitter. But I can't help myself. They keep giving me little layups that I can't oh, help no. but just finish at the rim on. Just when I thought <laughs> I was out, they pulled me back in. I just made a video making fun of the Twitter rebrand. It's now just called X, the letter X and nothing else, which, as I said, is very embarrassing because it sounds like something on Xbox Live in a Call of Duty lobby from 2009 where every 12-year-old thought having X's in their name was cool. And I thought I had finally got it all out of my system. There's no more jokes left to make about this low-hanging fruit. Until just now, with breaking news, they released their new official tagline, and I oh, couldn't no. believe it. My jaw was literally on the floor. I was more stunned by this tagline than I was with the ending to Inception when I first watched it. <laughs> I shit you not. The report said that their tagline was Blaze Your Glory. And no, I didn't believe them at no. first. I thought this was propaganda. No! That's just, just as bad as the uh, Xbox joke. When I was so when I was like when I was a kid like Halo 3 was like a big thing. I'm 27 now so that was a long time ago, but everyone always had like XX Dark Shadow XX like XX putting in front of XX in front of your name was like the coolest thing to do back in my day. Everyone had the XX. I didn't do it because I was just I was normal, I don't know, but everyone followed the trend where they had XX. So I understand the joke, but bro, what what type of tagline is that? That's what the heck? That, that, <laughs> wait, what? Because surely no one is that uncool. What does this even mean? Blaze your glory. <laughs> that sounds like a meaningless nothing burger that an anime protagonist would have shouted in a 2004 throwaway anime. I just can't believe someone could be this lame. I don't think evolution would allow for someone to be this uncool. We didn't evolve over the course of millions of years to reach a point where someone has made it to the apotheosis of cringe. I, I just don't believe we're there yet. Yet, all of the evidence points to the contrary. Elon Musk might legitimately be the lamest person to ever exist to think that this is cool. Blaze your glory. What does that even mean? <laughs> it sounds like a sexual euphemism, like, oh, fuck. I'm up late, lotion on my hands, and I'm blazing my glory oh, right now. Oh, yo! He didn't just do that to him, no! No! Penguin Zero, bro! No! <laughs> that was crazy. Yo, his opinions are- Dude, I love Charlie's videos, like, for real. Most critical, Penguin Zero, bro, I love your vids, bro. I don't want to be reacting to him. Like, his opinions are fire. He's always on point, but that was crazy he made that joke. But we'll keep moving on. I actually went to the app store to check this for myself because I thought I was being lied to. I, I couldn't believe we <laughs> existed in such a cursed dimension that would allow someone to think that this was cool. But it's true. It's real. That is the tagline for the platform formerly known as Twitter. It is Blaze Your Glory. That is worse than those old Discord cringe messages that would pop up when you try and launch the program where it was like, calculating RAR meme threshold. Need to construct additional pylons for optimal memeing. Quick, get to cover. Wumpus is a fire in his laser. Watch out. Springle just deleted all your base. Your base no longer are belong to us. That old garbage? This is worse. Blazing <laughs> Glory is like 50 times worse. I have legitimately been giggling about this for at least 10 minutes, which is why I'm making a whole video once again making fun of this platform, even though I have sworn that I would stop, like control myself the urge but i can't fight it. it it's like that scene in knock knock with keanu reeves where he gets tied up by the two girls and he's like i didn't fuck you you fucked me you came into my house and you sucked my cock you oh my sucked gosh. my dick it was free pizza that's how i feel right now this is free pizza like what am i supposed to do like it's how could i not make fun of this my glory is blazing just thinking about this shit. It's so wild to me. And I really just can't get over his obsession with the letter X. He named one of their fucking children X. And then a couple of other letters here that he must have seen during like a steam guard check to make sure- Wait. Elon, I have nothing against you, but that's wild. Your name- That's- I don't know. My- So my roommate, um, I used to call him X, um, but- <laughs> I don't know. It, that's not bad, like, as a nickname. Like, people call you X or Xavier or whatever. That's not bad, but that's, that's, 
I don't know. I, I kind of get Moist Critical's point here. I understand maybe because of my roommate was his name was X and I used to call him X. So I kind of understand why Elon said that. But he does have a point. Why is he so addicted to this letter X? Why? Wait, wait, wait. Isn't that the guy from Star Wars in the background? My bad. I got off topic, but... <laughs> um, But yeah, that's crazy. You're not a robot. Like, it, I understand that it has some kind of connotation with some kind of fighter jet or something. But once again, it's probably chosen by Elon Musk just because the letter X is in it. And, and for fucking 20 years now, over two decades, he's wanted X.com. Like, he wanted that to be PayPal originally. They shot that down for obvious reason because very clearly it seems like a porn site. But now he's got fucking full reign, unthrottled, uncircumcised, and unhinged. So he's got X and he's letting it all rip. There is no one but Sheesh. yes men surrounding Elon Musk just saying, go wild, brother. And he is. The glory will not stop being set ablaze right now at the X headquarters. Just a few nights ago, they set up some kind of X sign, like a light beaming off no. of a sign to the building. Like it was the goddamn bat signal, but for fucking cringe. It was just like the letter X on a building. It looked horrible. It was disruptive. It was awful. It, it is just a non-stop roller coaster of embarrassment. <laughs> I I really don't know how it's possible to be that uncool. Like, it's incomprehensible to me. I grew up as a fucking loser, a weirdo, for sure. But even I would know that this is so embarrassing. My cheeks would never stop being red. I would never show my face out of shame. I would, be, I would legitimately be in a paper bag for the rest of my life. Wow. I wouldn't let people see my face wow. if I was the guy that kept doing this shit with X and Blazer Glory. The shame would just be far too much to even put into words. I, I just, I, I can't help but make fun of it. I really can't. It's begging for it. I, I think there is a chance Elon Musk has some kind of humiliation fetish. Like the more people say that it's lame, the more he wants to be insulted for it, it feels like it. For real. This seems deliberate. This okay, so, but I kind of see Elon's appeal. Everyone is talking about this. So this is very good social me media marketing, but it's only good for the short time of social media marketing. So maybe people are going to be talking about this for a couple weeks, maybe a week. We don't really know, but is it good for the long term? Is it is it a good way to build a brand? I don't know, and I don't think it is a good way. I might be completely wrong, guys, but I think, in my opinion, I don't think it's a good way, and it might get him a lot of publicity, um, just like uh, it, Facebook or Meta released their new, what is it called, <laughs> Twitter like competitor, right? They released their Twitter competitor, but um, it was like good, like, oh, we have the most downloads or whatever. And it was good for a week, but then they lost like 80% of their 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 viewer base. And I don't know, now does this come does this give Meta the advantage over Twitter? Probably not. But it it's a sense of like, I don't know. It's like kind of saying that Twitter I don't know. They're both both uh social media companies are making the wrong moves in my opinion, but um this is just my opinion. And we'll we'll see over time. We'll see if this X logo stays, maybe they change it back, maybe they keep it. We don't know. Um, it's been kind of weird since uh, Elon Musk bought it. Be accidental. No one is this accidentally uncool. It's a plague because it's infecting other people into being just as lame. There's a lot of people that will just defend anything Elon Musk does with the platform and then get mad when people make fun of it. So it's not just him. He is infecting and spreading the lame virus. He's like the Axe body spray for online losers. Where Man. a lot of people will flock to him as like this group feeling of being like successful and cool. And like they're always going to battle for their leader, Elon Musk. Which makes no sense. Again, I don't really care about Twitter's success for, or its failure. I'm just laughing at the goofy decisions made along the way. Mm. So I'm just going to bring up one tweet here. It's not even this person in particular I have a problem with or anything. This is just the general attitude about how when I make fun of it, I'm just coping with the success of Twitter. No, I need to get YouTube premium. Or we keep going. Oops. I don't give a fuck. If Twitter burns to the ground tomorrow, I don't care. If it's 20 times more successful tomorrow, I don't care. I think the platform sucks. I'd prefer if it was in the dirt buried six feet under. I think it's been a net negative for the entire world. But overall, 
its presence isn't something that disturbs me or makes me upset. I'm not coping with its success. I'm making fun of it. So even if it's 20 yeah. times more successful tomorrow, I will still make fun of it. You know what else is extremely successful? Selling soiled used panties online to degenerates. Hey, I'll yo? make fun of that too. But it is successful. It's very successful. A lot of women make a ton of money doing that. But just no. like X, blaze your glory. It's something to laugh at because it's so fucking silly. It's so and it, it is pretty silly. It so, is no, this silly. has nothing to do with jealousy over a platform's success or its failure or anything. It is just legitimately comical nonsense really along is. the way that is something to point and laugh at as a spectacle and shoot some spitballs at. It's a circus and the clowns are dancing, Dang. And honking their nose and making me giggle. It's just not that deep. There's really nothing to psychoanalyze here. You don't need to be holding up Rorschachs to me in order to get down to the bottom of it. It's it's just super simple. So just stop being so upset when people make fun of some goofy shit like this. Keep your glory blazing, take a <laughs> step back, and share in the laughs. It's just that simple. You're not on the board of directors or anything. You don't have any like actual investment into the company. So whether oh, yeah. it's successful or it's not, it shouldn't matter to you. He does have a point. So... Kind of he's saying is, yeah, you can fight for like, oh, you defend the logo. You defend basically their new <laughs> plays a gory statement that goes below the app. I, I just don't understand that. Just like Penguin. But I'm saying he's just like, bro, you're not on the board of directors. Don't defend them, bro. Like, just I don't know. It's it's super goofy. It really is super goofy. Like, what, like I literally updated my Twitter app and the logo. And I, I don't know. I thought it was I thought it was just the dumbest thing i've ever seen but maybe over time it changes my mind maybe elon is a genius he has a lot of things coming and we're like bro all these new features are crazy we forget about how how it used to be a twitter bird in like five years but we don't know maybe twitter falls down the hill maybe it keeps going up it is a booming social media platform but i don't know let's just finish the video guys <laughs> blaze of glory oh my gosh have fun like just enjoy the silly ride that we're all on here with watching all of these goofy things unfold in front of us. Maybe it'll end up making the platform a thousand times more successful and becomes extremely profitable. And maybe, you know, 10 years from now, Blazer Glory's on t-shirts. You know, he's even got its own little mascot, like fucking Ultra Lord out of Jimmy Neutron, the, the Glory Blazer or something. <laughs> like, maybe it's the biggest thing in the world, but it will still always be a fucking goofy, uncool thing. Always no. worthy of being joked about. But anyway, I, I won't go on too much longer about it. That's really about it. May your glory be forever ablaze, my ex-friends. That's about it. <laughs> okay, guys.